A man has been jailed after he murdered his lodger before he dumped and dismembered body parts in packages and a suitcase. Benjamin Atkins, 49, was convicted of the murder of Simon Shotton after he scattered the packages of his dismembered legs along Boscombe Seafront in Barmouth. His partner, Debbie Payera, 39, was also sentenced at Winchester Crown Court for perverting the course of justice and preventing a burial of a corpse. He has been jailed for 19 years. You just what? Do you, how many defense, do you mention one question? Something for the What do you mean? I'm just listening to the murder. Evidence. What do you mean? I'm just listening to the evidence. What do you mean? I'm just Stay where you are. Stay there. Turn off. You're under that now. Who is that? Right. Yep. You're under arrest on suspicion of murder. You do not have to say anything, but may I on your defence. If you do not mention one question, something you will not you later on around in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. That's your right. Atkins earlier confessed to killing his lodger inside the home he shares with his partner. He claimed that he acted out of self-defence. The 49-year-old previously told the court that Mr. Shotton had been staying for a short period in their house and was supplying them with drugs in replacement of rent. Atkins further claimed that he got into a row with the victim, demanding payment of a debt. Paul Cavan, KC prosecuting, revealed a recorded conversation between Atkins and Piera in a prison van after his arrest. He told her that if he admitted that he cooked Simon's head up and dirt his cheeks, would it get me off the hook? He was also recorded as responding to a question by his co defendant on whether he had any regrets by saying, I'll look him straight in the eye and say, yeah, I'll do it again, and again, and again, if you let me go today, I'll find another one and do it again, drug dealers and pushers, kill, decapitate and deep their effers. The trial heard that after killing Mr. Shotton, Atkins and Piera sold the victim's mobile phone in a cash creator's shop in Boscombe, on August the 18th, which police used to track down the pair, Atkins then went on to cut up Mr. Shotton's body using a hacksaw in the couple's garden under a makeshift tent before burning the victim's head on a fire. On September the 1st, the police went to Piera's home and discovered her partner of 18 months hiding behind a wheelbarrow at the side of the property. Neighbours had complained of a terrible smell after Atkins lit a bonfire in the garden. The couple were arrested, and followed the following day, after conducting a forensic search of their house, found the severed arms of Mr. Shotton in two black bin bags outside. Describing his actions to dismember the body, Atkins earlier said in court, I won't deny it, I used copious amounts of various drugs, I pulled his body into the garden, covered him up later in the evening, when Debs was asleep, I went into the garden and I cut him up. I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't under the influence. I wouldn't have cut him up. I was scared. I was traumatised. I was panicked. I was under extreme stress, as well as under the influence. What i done was truly awful. It's horrendous what I have done, and I deserve to be punished for what I have done. I am sorry to his family. I am sorry to my family. It's a difficult time for me to be remorseful, but a man who was trying to kill me in my own house. The judge, Mrs. Justice Stacey, adjourned the case for sentencing to take place on the 26th of July and remanded both defendants into custody until then. Thanking the jury for their time during the complex case, she told them, We gave you a terrible job and you have risen to the challenge absolutely magnificently. You have had to sit through some of the most jaw-dropping evidence that anyone could hear to hear of Mr. Shotton's death and what happened to his body afterwards and the grim scientific details of how a body decomposes. Justice Stacey told Atkins, Your callousness is shocking. You still refuse to say what happened to the rest of his head and do not believe your remorse is genuine. He also said Atkins committed a ferocious and unnecessary attack. The judge said there was some evidence of Atkins acting in excessive self-defence as a row had erupted over drugs and money in the moments before his death, disseminating 
and dismembering of various parts of Simon's body is particularly gruesome and took place over a number of days, she told the 49-year-old. She added, the dismembering of the deceased body will have caused and will continue to cause pain and distress to the deceased family. She said the pain Mr. Shotton would have suffered was likely unbearable. Just as Stacey added, you have never said what you had done with the rest of his head. Mitigating for Atkins, Dafar Ali told the judge the crime was a murder for gain and there was no premeditation. We must accept and we do accept that the dismemberment and disposal and concealing of the body is a significant aggravating factor, he said. Addressing Piera, just as Stacey said, Miss Piera, you were a joint participant in what happened to Simon's body. I do not accept that you had no agency in the relationship and that you were as powerless as you now try to present. She continued, there was an element of control in the relationship but not to the extent that you portray. Without your help, Mr Atkins could not have done what he did. You could have contacted the police at any time. You did nothing to help Simon. Perhaps if you had told the police when you saw the fight happening, then Simon would still be here today. The court heard a victim impact statement from Mr Shotton's son, Wesley, who was just 19 when his dad was murdered. When we were together, he was focused on giving my brother and I the best time. Wesley said he would have found it hard not seeing us and that was when he would be vulnerable for being used and abused. His need to get money to live would have been made him a target to those who want to exploit him for drugs. Please like this video, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.